Hello my beautiful people. So today is going to be a very quick video. I want to show you how to make a pastry cream. It's very common in pastry, very basic, but unfortunately I see too many times people who are doing it wrong. So you need to know how to make a pastry cream without lumps, without any issues and with a very nice texture at the end. All right, so let's start. I have my milk and I have my sugar. You have to divide your sugar in two parts. The first part is going with the milk in your pot. First, you have to warm your milk, okay? Then after, you have the time to start to mix your egg yolks with your sugar and your cornstarch. I'm gonna use some vanilla paste. It's always good to have vanilla in your pastry cream. If you are rich, like super rich, you can use some vanilla beans, but I'm poor, so I'm gonna use some vanilla paste. Now I'm going to mix my egg yolks and my sugar, the second amount of sugar. As soon as you put the sugar with your egg yolks, you have to whisk. Otherwise, you're going to start to burn a little bit the egg yolks. Then, when it's mixed, you can add your cornstarch in one time. You have to mix well. It has to become a little bit white. Yeah, like that, it's perfect. Oh, and I know, you're going to ask, why do we have to divide the sugar in two parts? Because when you're warming some milk, especially the whole milk, sometimes you're going to burn the bottom of your pot. And if you put sugar with your milk, it's not going to happen. Okay, now it's ready. That's probably the most important part about making a pastry cream. Your milk has to boil. If your milk is not boiling, sometimes you're going to mix everything and you're going to end up with some lumps, okay? So it's crazy important, boil your milk. When it's boiling, you can pour a little bit inside your mixture, egg yolks, sugar and cornstarch and start to mix. You see it's boiling, so now I'm going to stop and pour a little bit with my first mixture. I would say pour one third and pour everything back in the pot in one time. You don't have to mix. You scrape your bowl very well, like that. And now you can start to mix. If your milk was boiling, it's going to thicken pretty fast. It's ex exactly what we want to prevent lumps. And also something very important, when you're making a pastry cream, you have to use a whisk, okay? You don't use a spatula to stir gently. No, 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 no. You boil your milk, you pour uh, one third of your milk inside your first mixture, you mix a bit, you pour everything back, okay? And you start to mix right away. In like 10, 20 seconds, boom, the pastry cream is going to thicken, okay? You mix for one more minute and boom, you are done. It's shiny, we have the consistency we are looking for, it's perfect. And at the end, me, what I like to do, I like to add a bit of butter in my pastry cream, just to make the texture a little bit creamier. Plus you can't really go wrong with some butter. Oops! Catastrophe! You mix until the butter is completely melted and combined with the pastry cream. And after you're done. And when you're done, you're going to use a tray and wrap the pastry cream, okay? Make it as flat as possible to cool down the pastry cream fast. Look at that. Perfect. And that's it. So, 
If you do everything right, you don't have to mix or hand blend your pastry cream. There is no lumps, it's shiny, it's perfect. That's why it's important to follow those steps. Et voilà. Now you can put it in your freezer, like 10-15 minutes, just to cool it down. And after you keep it in your fridge. One, two days, three days maximum. And that's it. You have a beautiful, perfect pastry cream. I really hope it's going to help you next time to make a beautiful pastry cream without any lumps. That's it, guys. See you very, very soon.